everybody. So, in this video, I am going to explain why I go on Softpedia all the time. Um, Softpedia, to go into an explanation, is a software download site. You can download service packs for Windows 2000, XP, Vista, 7, 8, 10, and you can download some Linux distros. Uh, I call it the Costco of software. Um, it has a lot and it makes it really, really easy. Uh, for example, you want to manually put in you're running Windows 7 and you want to put manually put in Windows Service Pack. Where do I go? Go to Softpedia. They have it. I use it all the time. It works great. Um, I like it. Uh, unfortunately, I work for somebody who didn't because they said that wasn't right. But um, it makes it easy, just kind of like a one-stop shop type thing. So when my browser loads, I'll go in there and I'll show you all the stuff that it has. Oh, that's why. Okay. Uh, in my previous video, I did something called Crystal Disk Info. It gives you information on your hard drive. So, if, if you're afraid of cracking open a computer, just download this and install it. It'll tell you what you want to know. So, we're just going to exit out. So, I am going to go to softpedia.com. Alright, so you're on, for example, Windows 7. I know I'm not running Windows 7, but I'm using that as an example. And you don't want to take your computer to somebody to say, hey, could you update this for me? You want to do it yourself. You're trying to figure it out. So up here in the search bar, you would type Windows 7 Service Pack 1. You push enter. Always look for something like this. Don't look at these because these are just ads and stuff like that. So you click that, and what happens is it'll take you directly to it. So I'll show you. Click that, and you have download. You click download. Now you have the standalone update, which is the one that, uh, if you want to put it to a disk because it's an ISO. Um, if you want the .exe download, which is the one you want to download, you do external mirror 2 for the 32 bit and external mirror 3 for the 64 bit. So you click back the main page and to go back. Another example would be you're running Windows XP. You just want the server as pack quick as possible. You don't want to wait for automatic update to do it. So what you do is type Windows XP. Service pack three. 
And there is no Surf Pack 23, by the way. So you scroll down, and there you go. Um, let's say you're looking for antivirus. And this is why I call it the Costco of software, because there's so much on here that it'll actually work for what you need. So, let's say... I like to use AVG, so I'm just using that example. Let's say... You want to type AVG free for the free edition, by the way. Scroll down, and there you go. Beta, beta, beta. And all that. It's both. There you go. So now, you have a really cheap computer, and it can only handle Windows 2000, even though Windows 2000 and Windows XP are uh, component-wise are basically the same. But you want Windows 2000 Service Pack 4. So what you would do is type in Windows 2000 Service Pack 4. Enter. You have the network install. So if you click that and you click download, you have external mirror one and you have external mirror two. All right, so. You're looking for an office program. Just uh, type stuff up. You're working in your office, right? You can't access. You have to have a letter type by the end of the day, right? So you get permission to install a word processing program. So, but you want to get it off a of suite. So, LibreOffice. There you go. Um, so if you type in, let's just say, regular antivirus, it gives you all the stuff that you need or want. I was doing specific stuff. If you do specifics, it'll give you that too. Now, if I just do a generalization of Windows Service Packs, I'll get those too. So, we'll do that. Now there's something called Windows I have to check that out. Now, in this case, I recommend going specifics with the service pack.
also not only that you have an Apple computer so if you go up here I have a window selected obviously because I am on a Windows computers so you have an Apple computer this is all the stuff you can get you have Android which is your phone they have all this for Android now if you go to Linux this is all the stuff for Linux They have drivers. Not everything is going to be on here, but a lot will be on here. Games. They even have web apps. So, this explains why I like to use Softpedia for a lot of stuff. It's kind of a one-stop shop. So, anyway, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe.